Hello and welcome back to the internet. I'll be taking a Mox Jet for the first pick of our beautiful Mox Jet Marathon. Hopefully we'll get more Mox Jets for the Mox Jet Marathon because otherwise <laughs> it's not much of a marathon, but we shall see. There's actually a rule in the rule book that says take a moment to appreciate the art on each card. Wow, that's actually kind of sweet. And my easy talisman pick. Please leave. Someone, it's someone, someone, time out, Irk. It, ca it taps for two colors, though. It's got to be better. Look, I'm no expert, but going Mox Jet into Bowmasters seems like a pretty good start. I wonder if that's a real thought someone who's new to the game would think. It taps for two different colors. This taps for one. So yeah. I'm going to take Orcish Bowmasters because that card is. I've never played with it, but everyone tells me when you cast it, they, all your opponents die at once. <laughs> And also your future weren't you here when rounds? they cast Treasure Cruise into Bowmasters, and they just got You're right. There was I've never played destroyed. with it myself. I guess you've. Do you want me to give you the mouse when we have it in hand, and we're going to cast it, so then you can feel like you've cast this? That's, uh, I don't think. I can oh, Kurt, that. I forgot about the step. I'm so bad. Hey, we that's it hates on drawing cards, so like that's not uh -huh. no uh -huh. no no. It's not too late to step. You could step. You got two pieces of power. Piece of power, basically. <laughs> Two pieces of power. <laughs> Man, creatures have gotten really Thanks, good Lord lately. Thanks, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, they have. And they all cost between one and two mana. It's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't seem very good. It's not very good, is for it? The, for the game. For the player? Pretty good. Unless you're the other player. Oh, a counter spell. Let's do, let's do the stip next draft, because I don't want to, like, I forgot what this was, and I kind of want to be aware of it from the very beginning. Is it just sneak attack? Kurt, are you back home? When are you getting back from Japan? Because I don't know what your time zone is right now. For all I know, it's like 4 a.m. right now. He's never coming back. <laughs> you know, I feel like that would be... It's not... definitely within the realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're back. Oh, sweet. Okay, good. So you're in normal time zone. So when I stream during the week, you'll, you can most likely be present. I'm going to take Sneak Attack. I don't want Double Blue Counter Spell. I think Sneak is good with a Mox Jet. Okay, sweet. Let's do that then. I think I need some hydration. So go get it. No one's stopping you. But the Pitch are the best part. The Pitch? The Pitch. Oh, wow. Fallen, fall, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, huh? Feeling good about Sneak now. That card's so ridiculous. I wish if Oliphant comes back, I'll be grateful. If Grave Titan comes back, that'd be What's good. What's Oliphant? Timothy Oliphant. He looks different. Yeah, he's changed his look a lot. He has his mountain cycling. Yeah, this part. is a super easy pick. Wow, this card's really good. Yeah, he's got mountain cycling. So you put him in the graveyard, and then you just reanimate him. Yeah, I heard Timothy Oliphant really likes mountains, so that makes sense. Oh, I, I like mountains. Did you see he's in a new project? No. Is it another season of Justified? <laughs> no, he's starring in... Sexiest Man Alive dot movie. Wait, what is this? I found another one. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I'll watch anything he's to be a fan in. I mean, there's been a lot of good stuff. Hold on, let's go to news. Okay, I do want to see this. Uh, I just keep finding more stuff. Oh, he's in the Alien show. There's going to be an Alien show. Timothy Oliphant is reuniting with Noah Hawley and FX signing on for a major role. In <laughs> oh, Jesus. <Jeez. laughs> the stupid light was on oh my god holy fuck <laughs> she must have had to come down the stairs very quietly holy shit it's probably blood tide harvester but i like fallen shinobi a lot i don't know <laughs> doesn't matter jesus christ <laughs> For those who didn't see what happened, Katie just literally slowly crept through the, the hall and down the stairs to get there. And then like scared the sh We were joking about how she wanted to give us a big spook earlier. 
I was just and we also turn the lights off for Hunter. So really. <sighs> Jesus fuck. That was terrifying. <laughs> that was really impressive. I mean, she doesn't make that much noise when she comes down the stairs, but that was dead silent. Yeah, I'm just going to take Palantir. I think it's really good, and we already have a Bowmaster, so we can complete our... Oh, she woke up on Our Lord of the Ring <laughs> themes. Okay, so first off, I saw Timothy Oliphant is playing U.S. Marshal Dick Wickware, a Utah lawman and follower of, the Br- of Brigham Young. Uh, what is this in? Oh, Fargo Year 4. Oh, he's in Fargo. Oh, that's exciting. Now I really need to watch Fargo. I don't know what Fargo is. Yeah, Jesus. Lord, give me strength. Someone got a clip. I want to play black in slow-mo. I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay, yeah. And um, he's, yeah, he's got apparently a major role in the upcoming Alien series. So that's exciting. Jesus, God. Also, Luris is really cool. Custody Lich is pretty impressive. Custody Lich has done some work for me in, in previous decks. I think Kolagon's Command is just the the bee's knees, though. I do like a Shoulder's Edict and a Mind Collapse, and Magda is not terrible. I feel like I need a fucking break. Jesus. She came out guns blazing, dude. She was freaking screaming. I'm going to take the shield of Zedict. Oh, is Robber good? Also, the Talisman came back. So, man, whoever was saying take that over, Mox Jet, you're ridiculous. I'll just take the pile on. I'm 36 and our reaction to big spookums is legit. Oh, yeah, I give Michael spooks all the time. <laughs> like, the other day, Michael was in the bathroom. And my office is, like, right next to that bathroom. So I came back and I was like, oh, Michael's, he's like washing his hands. So he's almost probably almost done. So I shut my office door so the light wasn't coming out. So he'd think I was in there. And I just stood in silence in front of the bathroom door. And then when he opened it, I was also like, in the dark. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, Jesus, scared the shit out of him. It was wonderful. Also, I feel like I'm naturally more prone to that. I'm going to take a recurring nightmare because I think it's probably just we can just build around that a little bit more. Man, she she said she wanted to spook us, and she really she got there. She sure she was did. On a mission. She sure did. I wonder if she has been thinking about it for a while, or she just thought about it. She was probably just she was probably just done doing her stuff, and she's like, "I'm gonna go get these stupid idiots." <laughs> and then she came creeping down. My God, good thing I took my blood pressure medicine today. <laughs> it's like, okay, Grandpa. Oh Lord. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go get that. Dang it do for a refill your grandpa yeah that's a late splinter twin man i'm gonna take olfon because it just it's just a good card to discard and then we can bring it back with recurring nightmare see you later splinter twin i'll take a binding maybe we get uh a white source and then who knows i'll take a kogla maybe we got a green source and just play it you know yeah the old triple green I'll take an Elder Gargoth. Maybe we get a green source. And oh, a Mox Emerald. We got that green source, dude. I I always lose with the double the double Mox decks every time. Whatever. I guess I'll take it. It's a Mox. <laughs> I'm not gonna not take it. <laughs> what am I, an idiot? Yes. Possible. I mean, you could probably play. You could probably shut up. <laughs> Greater Gargi. With one Mox Emerald. Yeah, that's check. That checks out. The problem is, maybe this time is the th- is the right. Oh look, we got a time twister. No, we don't. <laughs> I do like a blood crypt here. Uh, it's probably the best option. No ancient team love. I do like triplicate titan. No what? Oh, triplicate titan is actually really good. What were type. you saying? Ancient tomb. Ancient tomb can suck my bee hole. Okay, that that confirms the triplicate no love. titan is good with sneak attack, and we can and reanimate yes. if we reanimate it with recurring nightmare. It's good. Yeah, I'm gonna take trippy. Oh, Mox Opal, there it is. Someone called it. King Eater. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Is it just Una's Prowler, maybe? 
It's a good discard outlet. Chupacabra's fine. I think I'd rather take Chupacabra. Really? The Prowler would probably come back. I bet Chups comes back, too. No one cares about Chups. But... Really? I don't know, okay? What am I, a fucking psychic? I mean... God! Nobody plays Prowler unless you're in this deck. What if they are? Have you seen a lot of reanimation spells coming around? For you. Hmm. What does that mean? Oh, Croxa and Chandra and Bitter Triumph. I like all of these. Also, Polluted Delta. We have no fixing yet. I think I'm just taking the Delta. I hope the Blood Crypt comes back. Oh, you meant Mox Pearl incoming. <laughs> You're like, Opal's white. That's basically the same thing. Remember when your girlfriend made you that sandwich, Michael? Your lady love? <laughs> Yeah, Bitter Triumph is actually a fantastic addition. I'm a big fan. Are you okay? What are you doing with your brain? Shut up and take my money. Mike B's hole. No sucking or licking. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Why is that a thing? I'll take him to Torok. Take the dollar back. <laughs> Send it back. Yeah, him to Torok. I mean, there's a lot of cards that can come back here. I would actually play an Othari if we got it, and I would just play it off my Mox Emerald. Is that how that works? No. That's too bad. Yes. This thing is juicy. <laughs> You're talking about Mike B's hole again? Wow. I'll take this Talisman of Indulgence. You would. Okay, that's something, I guess. That's his thing to say. Yeah, what was the the other? There was another card. Light, uh, chain lightning was the other option, I think. But it also it's fixing, right? So if we get two swamps and play a talisman, all of a sudden we got red. How do you lose? You know. Hmm. I guess we can't. Oh, I God, I really do love this big Chandra. Yeah, in the big Chandra business. Also, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. Like, that's just insane. Plus two to add two mana. Oh, man. I mean, it's probably duress. It's got to be duress. That's the safe pick. Oh, we're definitely taking Goldspan Dragon. Who even plays non-creatures anymore, man? Not the creatures are the best part, you know. Yes, you shouldn't take the duress. Clearly, duh. Oh, I see. Oh, braid. All right. I like Torok, but getting the three black is actually somewhat difficult. I think I'd rather just have a nice versatile braid. Hey. Oh, look! It didn't come back. You stupid biscuit. <laughs> I mean, I think it's fine. What kind of sandwich? Give us the layout. Give us the layout of the, the sandwich. The stack, if you will. Oh, Chandra and Croxa came back? Croxa came back? I think I like Chandra a little bit better. The only thing about Triple Good Titan I don't like is that we're not in a great position to flash it back here. Or, not flash it back, but flash it. That's what I meant to say. I feel like my, my heart is starting to recover. <laughs> This is also a lot of cards for pack two. We have a whole other pack coming. I mean, toss in Burst Lightning, Firebolt, and Steel Seraph, and our deck's pretty much done. Toss them in. <laughs> Shred Brisket with Cherry Peppers? That sounds pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Where do you even get that? 
I do love a good sweet pepper. I'm going to make an assumption that it's a barbecue place. Interesting. Oh, wow. Look at all these good, look at all these good goods that came back. This should not still be here. I'm going to take Graveyard Trespasser, though. That guy's a beater. I'm going to pick Woodfall Primus because I can sneak that guy in for sure. For real, for real. Do kids say for real, for real, or do they say FRFR? I don't know, man. Shit. I'm not a youth anymore. <laughs> no cap, bro. No cap. Look at that little rabbit, bro. I did. Both. Oh, they do say both. Interesting. FRFR sounds really, like, clunky. It doesn't It doesn't roll off the tongue. Probably just taking Iron Mesa here. It goes well with our Delta. <laughs> If we ever get a land that we can search for. Blood Crypt's already gone. That's unfortunate. They say Riz. Could also just take Zealous Conscripts. That card's a beating. Like, without anything to search for with Iron Mesa, it's not as good. Nah, take the Zealous Boy. Steal him and wheel him. We just don't need... We don't need playables right now. We need three playables from this pack. It, it, two at most. Yeah, but Conscripts are real good. Yeah, but I'd rather just have Fixing. If we hit, like... If we hit a Badlands, it's really good. But also, Volcanic Island turns Polluted Delta into a double land. What if we hit good land? I'm actually just going to take Archon of Cruelty, oh, though, because that, that guy is top-tier reanimation, gen gentlemen. So is, I mean, Layla's really, really good, too, but Archon's, like, the kind of card you cross your fingers for, so. Yeah, if you do, like, Mox and to turn to Layla, they're probably just, like, dead. <laughs> I don't have a Mox, though, so. That's because I have two moxes. <laughs> I say I moxes. Like, the joke? Some people say moxen. moxen. Yeah. I think that's weird. It feels weird. I think we're just taking Fury because that card's also busted. Maybe this time we'll get to play it. Oh, wait. We passed it last time. We didn't have it that's last right. time, yeah. Michael. I think you took a land over? Michael, we didn't have that. <sighs> what do I know, man? It's low. It's the, the thing. It's low. If you know what Riz means, then the kids don't say it anymore. <laughs> that sounds correct. Oh, I like a deep cavern bat. You're like, what is that? You know what this guy does? No idea. Jesus. It's pretty good. So it's just pilfer plunder or whatever that guy is, but better. Freebooter. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's less. It has one lower toughness, toughness. but it hits any non-land card, not just not just spells. Yeah, so that's a lot better. And it also has lifelink. Oh, isn't that neat? No, oh, isn't that? Look, look at that. Treat. I do like Beseech the Mirror, and I'm kind of tempted to try it. Like, casting Beseech and sacrificing something irrelevant to go get, like, Sneak Attack or Chandra. Bone Charge is also pretty good, too, though. What is? Bone Charge. Bone Charge is fine. We don't have any reanimate cards, so, like, like tossing things in the graveyard just aren't, doesn't seem as good. Like, we have Recurring Nightmare, but we don't actually have the creatures for it currently. I, I would absolutely love... I feel that card a bit feels of like blossom. very hard to set up. Well, that's what I'm here for. Oh, wow. From the Catacombs is fantastic. Holy don't smokes. Don't know what that one is. You do or don't? No idea. Really? Put target creature card from a graveyard on the battle under control with the corpse counter on it. You may take the initiative if you have a really battle. Wow, it's got a lot of words on it. <laughs> it's just a reanimate spell yeah, that you can keep casting because of escape. Yeah, right. And you get the initiative because yeah. why not? Wow. It's a little bonus for you. See, now we could have the bone shards. You know what? Bone Charge is probably going to come back, my man. I want to just take Season Pyromancer here. Don't care about Lumberjack. Sarah's Emissary is fine as like a reanimate. Damn, it's just a removal spell. I'll just take the Seasoned. Wow, still no, still like no fixing whatsoever. We're just like straight up swamps yeah, and either. mountain. Yeah, you kind of do. I mean, if you want to play that, you do, but... I could have took that dragon thing. The one drop. Uh, this deck needs breach. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, we could, I could definitely. I wouldn't mind a breach. Take seasoned out. Take a recurring nightmare out for now. Zealous came back. Fascinating. Easy pick. The easiest. God, like Arid and Polluted just aren't even doing anything in this deck. 
Maybe maybe we just play Metamorphose to fix our man. <laughs> Doesn't draw a card too. It's not that unreasonable to play. Bonfire. That's pretty good. Battle Sphere, sure. This is twenty four. Oh, man, I didn't think I'd regret not taking Blood Crypt that that time. I would have won if I had the Blood Crypt, you see. Yes. I'm just going to hate on this guy. So I need one cut. I know it's only 5, but it looks dark outside already, so I'm like, oh, it's probably 9 p.m. What are you saying right now? Who knows? I need one cut. I think Sneak is good with Archon, Woodfall, and Triplicate Titan. Although we don't have any Eldrazi. You could bring Duress in. The games are good. Also, you have a Mox, so you, you could get away with 24. What? That's not how that works. You still need 17 lands. You can play 41. No. I would, no. <laughs> Do you want to pay the colorless Mox? Well, yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> it's a Mox. These questions you're asking are really, really questionable. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Katie knows how it is. <laughs> Jesus. Might just be choops here. According to Dr. Mike, you can have caffeine as long as it's not after 5 p.m., so I'm going to go get some of that. Do that or I'm going to sleep. <laughs> At 5 p.m.? Yep. How many hours of sleep did you get? Yeah, I mean, we didn't wake up until like noon. And I know you went to bed at like 11, so. <laughs> Man, you slept for like eight hours my nap the other day. Don't, don't be talking shit. It was like three. It was not three. It was. I literally slept, fell asleep at like 2.40 and I woke up at like five. All right, no green. Black. This is 8.8 eight and then an emerald. Which I think is probably fine. We have double black here and not a double red until Chandra. Yeah, that makes sense. Sleeping for 17 hours after you get back from like a humongous trip. That makes sense. Alright. We'll see if this deck does anything. Alright. Round one. Okay, Mox Emerald and Swamp. Cannot him to Torak with those, but it's still not terrible because we can go get a red source. If that was, man, if that Blood Crypt was here, can you imagine? Okay. So we're just going to pass here and get a regular mountain. God, Blood Crypt. Also, it would have been nice to see a Badlands. How's the video game school? Well, I my I just finished my my Unity course this past week, and my final was due on Friday, so I turned that in, and I got a 100 on it, and I got really good feedback, so that was nice. That being said, I do not think I enjoyed C Sharp and Unity as much as I thought I might. Let's get this guy out. You guys stream your final project? Probably not. Uh, so, I kind of like Kolagon's command and killing their talisman and then also discarding triplicate titan. Is that terrible? Because then we have from the catacombs for it. Or we can just make them discard something. Destroy an artifact. Or we can actually return this guy and then draw it again. Let's do that. Uh, return a creature, destroy an artifact. Yeah, because that just gives another land if we don't hit a land. And then that guarantees us to try. If we could draw a Mox Jet, that would be sick. We can go Mox Jet, cycle Oliphant, play Chandra. That would be pretty sweet.
So, we don't have a second black. This is exactly what I was concerned about. And we have to cycle Oliphant to get a land, which is fine. Because that's a, what we're kind of expecting to do. But also, like, them just playing Basalt Monolith is not the greatest when we're not doing much. So, fingers crossed, I guess, that they don't do something for seven mana. Or they do nothing. That's fascinating. Palantir of the Thank. Hmm. Guess we'll just Chandra here. And no, I will not cast Woodfall Primus. Okie dokie. Well, next turn we do have six mana. If we hit a black source, we can play Palantir, keep up Pylon. Sure. Got another planes. Two white sources is nice. Hmm. Chandra go to two. I'm sure they have a two mana, two damage spell. Oh, they did not. Fascinating. Well, that's pretty interesting. Does this draw you a card? Yeah, it does. So we're just going to play this guy now. Kill your Bowie. <clears throat> and then we'll Palantir. Um, bottom, top. I assume you're not going to let me have that fable, which is fine. We are one creature or mana away from being able to pile on here. Little top. They got three cards. Not the worst for us. Are we winning, son? Hard to say. Hmm. They are going to get shot, though. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> it's not great. Feeling okay. sportsman like. What are they doing here? Hmm. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, they didn't attack with it? Hmm. Sir Gingy. Four, five, six. Hmm. Well, we need two black for this, and we have one. We need two black and eight mana for this. We have six. Two black for this. This is a removal spell, and this guy has hex proof. So I guess we're just exiling the top and seeing what happens. Oh, that's actually not the worst. It's castable. Seems good. It's all you can ask for in this economy, you know? They have a Badlands and a Mountain. Sounds good. I like that. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Stop yourself from saying challenge level impossible. <laughs> what? You can't say one without the other, you know? Putting both of those bitches on top. You want to mill two mountain? Two, two, yep, yeah, yeah, bit, zip, bit. I thought I was the one that was tired. <laughs> I mean, I'm not tired, so... I still am. Okay. God, I needed those swamps. When I went upstairs, Katie was like, that was such a good spook. <laughs> she's, still, she's still thinking about it. Oh, yeah, she'll... That's for days, you know? <sighs> okay, they played the mountain. Oh, they're casting something. Oh, I, we, we knew that was there, I guess. Mm. 
you're not gonna don't say you're not gonna do it okay black source and the third one mm, that'll do <laughs> that'll do oh yeah this is gonna be this is the end of the game That'll be fine. One little daddy. Two little daddies. Oh, for some reason I thought you had one less red. They're definitely very dead. They are not alive. <coughs> What's my caffeine choice of source this evening? That's not what you said uh, or wrote, but uh, the caffeine I am drinking. What's your caffeine choice of source? Is this bitch called is drunk. Gamer Sups. You probably heard of it because it's got a lot of sponsors with YouTube peoples. Michael's using them promo codes. No, unfortunately not. I paid full price. Why don't you use promo codes? Because I didn't have one at the time and I needed it. And I need it. It takes 15 seconds to Google like Gamer Sub promo code. <laughs> Watch. Oh. I'll do it right don't, now. Don't do it. It's impossible. <laughs> Actually, no. I bought on Black Friday. There was a sale. That's why I didn't do it. Just use free 30 now for free shipping on any order of 30. You probably got free shipping though, I bet. Yeah, if you 10% spend on... off start site wide. I bought it on Black Friday. That's why I didn't use a discount code because it was naturally discounted. Naturally. That's one of their benefits. It's naturally discounted. My two flavors were Cursed Energy, which is a raspberry tea variant. It's a crossover with Jujuju Kaisen. Cuckoo Yaizo? <laughs> yeah. Cuckoo Bozo? For the anime heads, you know, it's a banger. Watch this. Look at this. Bam! I bought some other flavor that's orange. Some other flavor. Who knows? Who can be who can be bothered with remembering what flavors you're drinking, you know? Uh, one of them is. Uh, so the orange flavor does have an anime titty girl on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Which is very cringe. I did notice that. I looked up and I was like, What's It's cringe, but it's not based on a show. They just do that with their... That's just a thing they do for branding. Hmm. It's uh, like... Just a anime, a titty girl anime with no purpose, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the purpose is the drink. This is interesting because now we just get to kill their their thingamajig. Whatever it is, it's going in the trash can. No one ever gives you the first Straight card. Straight to the trash can. Straight to jail. Also, I'm crazy. I usually mix the two flavors. There's one called Anime Girl Thighs. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, there's also Titty Milk, yeah. Have, draw a card. I almost no. bought Titty Milk. It sounded pretty good. <laughs> it sounded pretty good. That sounds really tasty. It's it's blue raspberry, but with like... That's not a flavor, Michael. It is in the candy world. <laughs> with a hint of... Oh, uh, the candy world. Hint of cream. Uh, choose target player to discard you and kill this thing. I'll be honest, I didn't buy the flavor because I'm like, I can't buy a flavor that's called that. It's too ridiculous. You could just put a little tape over it, you know? <laughs> just put a little painter's tape over it. I mean, no, that makes no. it worse, actually. How come there's painter's tape on this? What flavor no is reason, it? No reason, man. It's painter's yeah, tape. Flavor. I like to call it blue raspberry. <laughs> oh, God. What are they doing? Get something big and stupid that doesn't do anything because then I'll, that'll kill you. I'll kill you dead. Oh, Jitte? That doesn't do anything. Against us, it really doesn't do anything. Just gain some life, I guess. Oh, we can kill your little goblin. I have yet to see a two mana a two, a second swamp in this in this deck. I'm not sure it exists. I guess we have goblin to make a treasure, but that's not really the same, you know? Yeah, it was weird when you only put one swamp in. I think that was a mistake. Well, I thought 16 mountains, one swamp would be fine. Source, I don't math. <laughs> oh, that's sad. What are you taking, Palantir? Edict? Pylon? Probably Palantir. I'll take my Palantir, bro. You give me one tier for my Palantir. <laughs> I'm making it really hard to stay. <laughs> Please don't do it. Hammer don't hurt him. Remember that song from MC Hammer? Hammer don't hurt him. I don't actually remember that one. I would play it, but I don't think that's the name of the song. Oh, it might have been. Fuck, it might have been. Yeah, please don't hurt him. That's the name of the album. He's looking pretty fly on the cover there. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. How old is MC Hammer now? 
Don't look it up. It's going to be sad. <laughs> it's going to hurt so bad. Well, considering the album came out in 1990. 61, and actually. Not as, not, as, not as old as I thought he'd be. They took Pile On. That's interesting. That was not what I was expecting it would take. Oh, there's that second black pop I was looking for. Would I like to use this ability? Heck yeah, bro. I mean, you lied to me. You said you only put one swap in. Now there's two more? Oh, I didn't say that. Oh my god. You just think of somebody else. <laughs> well, we can't kill their Zerta, unfortunately. Sounds like you're not trying enough. I'm not. Okay. They could sacrifice it. You don't know. <laughs> yes? Let's read the chat. You think that's funny? Yeah. Do you? I laughed, you might say. What if I did, what if I don't say that? No, oh, it's a free country. Oh, reckon her BB. Interesting. I think hey. it's gotta be Jitte here. What up, Super Fritz? Sacra is a non token creature or token creature. So they're just gonna sacrifice Stone Forge, which is not what we want. So I'm just gonna play Palantir here. Slurp juice is hidden. I think I might have one more in me. <laughs> you might have one more slurp juice in you? No, I mean uh for this dip, if we're gonna do it tonight. I don't know if we are, but Oh, interesting. Uh, put you on top and then put you on top of that so I draw you, General Goldie Wilson. Or they'll take a lot of damage. Well, they're just going to take two because the talisman's on top, so that's what they would mill. Oh, it's the first card always? Oh, that's not the order I wanted it to be in. Wait, yes it is, right? Wait, no. Only you have That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to go... Oh, my God, that's frustrating. Because they were, I didn't want the talisman. Which I was either going to draw this turn or they were going to mill it. Yeah, so I put Talisman on first, then gold span. That's backwards. Yep, that's not. That's how my brain aneurysm failed me. Oh, that's frustrating. It didn't kill you, so that's... I feel like you're doing pretty good. I guess. How much mana do they have here? They can go tap one to make a guy... Tap one to untap it. Tap one to make a servo. Yeah, I don't like that. Someone go to the economy telling me how this works. <laughs> okay, let's try to do this correctly now because we could have had Goldspan Dragon, which would have been significantly better than not having Goldspan Dragon. If I have a choice between having a Goldspan and not having a Goldspan, I try to lean towards having a Goldspan Dragon. So that's actually not great. I would absolutely love a from the catacombs, though. Yep, trade servo into a Thopterino. That's how I we did an attack. I want to bottom this and put this guy on top, and if they want to take five, that's fine. They had Fury and Mox Jet. Okay, well. Tap retrofitter for no. Oh, I guess you can just sack your thopter. So I'm tempted to like make them sacrifice a token creature here. That's not what I wanted to do. I thought it would actually let me. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Whatever. That's the second misplay I've made in like three turns, so that's unfortunate. I mean, it's just a 4-4. Four, four. Whatever. I'm at 20. We know they have Bankbuster in hand. And one other card. What could go wrong, Michael? It's only a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, like the text was so small, I just clicked <laughs> it thinking... Uh, I saw the word token, so I was like, oh, it's gotta be this one. Yeah, so I figured. That's not what happened, though. Yep, draw your little card. From the catacombs, off the top, one time. Yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, I'll just take four. Don't be a land. Fantastic. Well, they can actually make a 1-1, one, one, spend one to untap it, and that's all they can do. So I'm actually just going to attack with this guy. And you can start making little copies of them. Yeah, at the end of their turn, I can make a guy. Or during their upkeep, actually, sounds... Or during their draw step, rather. Oh, that's smart. Let's do that. Uh, oh, that's what we want. Bottom you, put you on top, and they have to give this to me. There's no way they don't, because they're milling three cards. Maybe, like, gambling. Like, that what? puts them to four if there's no other cards there that can hurt them. What's the most you've ever lost on a coin cost? A coin cost? I know. I should know. I should know. Yep, he's having a stroke. Yep, this is, this just wins us the game next turn. Does it give him haste? No, but like putting an Archon of Cruelty into play just... Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, let's see what you got. P and Kieran Nalar. But you have one red source. Just take Bankbuster here. General Goldie Wilson. I like the sound of that. Did you hear that? I will be mayor. From it's a movie, little movie called Back to the Future. If you guys have ever heard of it, this is round one. My God, my friend Biff told me about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Character loosely based on Donald Trump, I bet. <laughs> uh... It's got so many robots. These robots, I'll say it, they're not cool. Robots are cool. Not right now. Okay, they didn't do anything. You're attacking with your 4-4 four, four and your 3-1. Just gonna block here and give you your guy back. This guy dies at the end of the turn anyway, so I gain a life. What a sucker. Artifact creature food knight. Sure. You got it. Oh, but you know what does happen? We can from the catacombs and then just make a copy of it, so then they basically die. So this game's basically over. Sure, cast that. Making Let's copies. Arky. It's an archon of cruelty, and that's going to be the end. Yep, that'll do. Three archon triggers is pretty good. That kills them on its own. You don't say. Did you ever eat that sandwich that your lady love gave you? I told you I was saving it. We're having for dinner. God. Oh, okay. Sorry, I forgot. Are you stinking idiot? Oh, yeah. Don't bring it up again. <laughs> Don't talk about it anymore. I don't like it. Remember when your colon also donated to the stream? That was pretty cool. And I was like, no more cheese, please. How about you make like a tree oh, wow. and get out of here? It's leaf. <laughs> make like a tree and leaf. This is a good one. Did you see there's now a McRib Deluxe? No, I have not. Who needs that in their life? I what, might, depending on what's on it. <laughs> what colons are asking for this? 
I do fall for the McRib trap. I'm like, yeah, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good now. And then you get it and you're like, eh. eh I like about half of it, then I'm done. Oh, what up, Sea Donkey? So here's the question. I think we want to start drawing cards. This guy doesn't do much with no cards. Oh, that's interesting. Fascinating. I'm fascinated. Everyone fasten. Putting this on top and then putting this on top of that. So if they mill one, we're still drawing. Yeah, I want to draw the sneak attack because we have both triplicate and archon in hand. I accept missing a land drop for that. It's been accepted. Done. I, yeah, I don't want to exile anything because, well, obviously there's no reason to. I'm going to put this on top and then the fable on top of that. So we're definitely hitting a land. No, oh, they milled both. Fascinating. Yeah, well, we have from the catacomb. That's why I didn't want to start milling stuff because I want to be able to escape easily. Hmm. Ochre doker. Artichoker. So the deluxe just, they just add cheese, lettuce, and tomato. All right. That doesn't seem like enough of an upgrade to me. Well, that's unfortunate. So we're basically just not hitting lands here. That's good. It's frustrating. It doesn't feel good. No, it does not, does it? I guess we can get rid of their jailer. That's kind of neat. It doesn't do anything. It saves us two life. Wow. Phenomenal. <laughs> I'm just going to mill all of it. Put this on top, put this on the bottom. Just see if they hit like four big things. They just let us draw it? Oh, you stupid idiot. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. Dude, if we can hit just two lands, man. I just want to be able to sneak attack Archon or Triplicate Titan. It's what you always want. Hey, Mike, isn't your favorite food kettle kettle corn, kettle cook, kettle chips? <laughs> what? That was a good throwback. Sure is. Such a good throwy. <laughs> Okay, well, they're no longer giving us lands. So I'm going to put this on top and then this on top of that. So maybe they'll give us the land? I don't like this game. Hey, we won the game. Hooray. Let's pitch her from the catacombs. Smart. You hear that's got to escape? Your mom's got to escape. She does? She's escaping already. Or two. Who can say? Hmm. Oh, pest infestation. That's good. Right before I was going to actually do stuff. They draw pest infestation. And if we play sneak attack, they kill it with pest infestation. And if we don't play sneak attack, hmm, then they kill our mocks and our palantir. So that's good. No. Hmm. If only you could choose the mode twice. I just have to start getting rid of things. So we get a land. We can go Chandra and kill their Courser, which kind of sucks because then it puts this to one. Like we know we're drawing a land. If we play Sneak Attack, they just Pest Infestation it. 100%. So we have to keep it. We have to keep Chandra and then maybe plus... I think we just plus Chandra. No blocks. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't want to... No, we can't do that though. That's unfortunate. Yep, they're just going to Palantir both of these. Or not, Pest Infestation rather. 
So if we play Chandra, they kill both of these. We still get to sneak attack. So, not terrible. And if they Othari... Oh, that's sad. If only I could activate Chandra again. No two activations. Uh, I'm going to bottom both of these. They don't do anything for us right now. Sure. I thought the Mick rib was discontinued because they ran out of Grimace ribs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so dark. No. No, it's Grimace. Totally and then the shake is the remaining blood. <laughs> so we know they have Athari and Pest Infestation in hand and three other cards. Uh, his name is Grimothy. <laughs> Michael liked that one. Are they just pest infestation? -ing? Oh, there's Titan of Industry, -ing, which also gets rid of us. Actually, if they just get rid of Palantir here, it's really good for us. My Crocs are his skin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Of course, they get rid of the mocks. That's hilarious. Nice. <sighs> Come on, Mox Jet, one time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually pretty good. So you're saying there's a chance. I'm definitely saying that. The key to every game is just sneak attack these two clearly. I mean, I can't say. I mean, we also have from the catacombs in the graveyard to get rid of something else. Well, it comes at you quick, you know. <laughs> and we're going to be making three three threes from this guy, so. And they're dead, too? <laughs> oh, the death part is also. Well, this guy has reach, so. Oh, okay. My bad. I forgot. But now, wait, they sacrificed that guy? But the why? But now they die? I guess they like dying. Wait, did they forget out of reach, maybe? Even if they did, why would they... Why would they choose that guy over this guy? That had to be a misclick, right? Don't you also have to confirm? No, you just click it. Oh. And it goes away. It'll say, good. choose a guy to sacrifice. I went to block before the sack. Oh, dear. <laughs> that yeah he's like oh yeah let me see this guy's gonna block oh no i clicked the wrong guy oh because he went to block yeah he yeah. clicked him to, to to block the the archon <laughs> i hope he finds that funny <laughs> that was a really good timing I... Look at that. <laughs> oh god It's wild that you don't have to confirm sacrificing a creature. Yeah, I, okay, so I was going to say there should be an undo for certain misclicks, but, like, let's say you, you clicked that guy to sacrifice it, and then it triggered something. Like, say there's a card on the board that says, like, whenever you sacrifice a creature with five or more power, you draw a card. So as soon as you sacrifice that guy, that trigger is going to go on the stack. So then you kind of have to engineer a whole scenario where, like, triggers wait until you're like certain but then you're like at that point you'd have to double check to make sure someone is sure so at that point you might as well just put a double check trigger on, yes. on like hey are you sure this is the one you want to sacrifice when right? you make any choice like almost all the choice yeah, in moto ask you yes or no grimace right? has anyone seen my ribs or skin <laughs> stop hurting grimace he did nothing wrong uh, I guess we're just submitting. We'll keep this. Name's Uncle Cardboard. That's a good name. <laughs> That's a good name. Oh, it's old Uncle Cardboard. It's behind the camera, so I can't see it. What's... Oh. 
What was his name? Yeah. I mean, normally it doesn't matter. Their name's usually stupid, but... I'm like, I'll grow up. <laughs> I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> Caffeine's a hell of a drug. Oh, oh look at look at old Dr. <sighs> Mox over here. Oh, God. What are you doing? We're dead. <laughs> Jesus. Did I black out and they're three? Is it turn five now? <laughs> well, they have six mana, so it's very close to that. I mean, I guess of all the things they could have done with that, it could have been worse. I'm just going to play Talisman here because it, we have a lot of four mana cards that could be good, like a Ravenous Choopers. I guess we took out the Choopers. You Is only that have one the card left. But they have the initiative, so... I hit view sideboard and then it didn't show up and I is it somewhere else? <laughs> Hello? Hide <laughs> sideboard. View sideboard. Is this sideboard? Oh, it's over here. Wow, look how tiny it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was like hiding on this plane. Does you just remember what window size you have, I guess? I've never had a window that small. There's the choops. I'm bringing that guy in. Gary. Gary. Ha ha. Gary. You know that game? You ever played that? No, man. I couldn't possibly know what you're referencing. It's from Fallout. What? what? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm not going to get man, out of here. That's one of the coolest parts of one of those games. Gary. I'll be so happy to play it when I'm 65 or whatever. <laughs> Why? This one comes out. A new one. Oh, the next one. Yeah, well, that yeah. doesn't have the Gary in it. You don't know. It could. They could have a callback. Oh. Huh. It's long enough to where you can justify a callback. Oh, I mean, Michael. What if there's one lone surviving Gary? It's long enough. That's what she said. Jesus Christ. Dude, they got so many lands. I think we're just dead here. I think Christian was here for the spook. Maybe not. Christian save the spook. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <sighs> yeah, super fit. She literally almost gave us a heart attack. <laughs> Okie dokie. Pro Creatures is pretty good, man. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Yep, it's, it's, well, I guess we'll crack this and see if we hit anything, huh? Blood in, blood out. What? You're sacrificing a blood token. No, I'm not. Don't tell me what to do. Hmm, nope, that ain't gonna do it. Okie dokie. Big Choops is definitely coming in. Come on, Look get that guy on the sideboard? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. How good is the rest against them? Probably pretty good. They have pest infestation, they have. A lot of different stuff that that they could play against us. You understand? I think I get it. What else did they have? They had pest infestation and like. For some reason, I thought that was last round. Not this round. It was last turn, not round. this round. Last round. Last round. I thought there was another another match. They have Garrick, Relentless. You know, no, that's in your sideboard. <laughs> this actually seems fine. Move your head. What? <laughs> I will play first. Okay. Are you doing okay over there? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, reasonably. I don't believe you. <laughs> I mean, I'd be asleep right now. I would be totally asleep. If what? If, if I wasn't here, <laughs> not sleeping. Were you just going to sleep? streaming. I would be going to sleep. How many hours of sleep did you get last night? Probably like close to eight and a half. I was up and up, up, up and down. I was up and up. I was up and up and up and down. Up and down. Love you, right? Zippity doo. You know. No one. They say. Literally, no one knows. We must construct additional pylons. There is brisket in between my teeth. You should get the floss. Jesus. I'd recommend it. Are you sure it's not the skin of Grimace? Oh, <laughs> this guy just gets killed immediately. You mean Scrimmace? Scrimmace is my favorite holiday. <laughs> hmm. Well, 
we have a lot of removal right now, particularly four different types. Simply having a wonderful Grimace time. The Grimace is right. <laughs> Jesus. And his name is Grims. Let's do it. Sacrifice a creature token, a non-token creature. This is worded very oddly. It's not, I mean, it doesn't, it's not in, it's not wrong. It just feels weird. Yeah. A non-token creature. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. That's why I just said that. You just repeated what I said. That's all you did. What? R2-D2, is that you? Yes. This is R2-D2. God, they keep getting lands off the top, and I keep wishing they didn't. You gonna play something else? Just stop it. Oh, brother. Oh, interesting. Let's put you in the garbage. I'll put you on top. You're doing the uh, black red deck very well right now. Yeah, well, kill I... it, kill it, kill it, kill it. They have a Lauren, which is what they drew. She's got to run out of removal at some point. Please. Well, that one's a good one. That one will live. Shoot. Ah, oh, shoot, shoot. I guess you could block. That's a big boy. It's a big boy. So we can get Oliphant. Can't really cast you. Where's the sneak attack? My kingdom for a sneaker. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is it an I artifact did. creature? No? That's too bad. Check it again. Just Can't. in case. Hmm. We'd be flipping, bro. That card's stupid. What this does card? it do? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Germany Christmas. Yeah, Timothy Oliphant. That's the joke I always make. I always make this joke. As a Timothy Oliphant fan, you know, you just can't help but... Okay, we're taking five. We're not taking five. Who knows? Then I get the initiative, perhaps. Hmm? Mayhaps. <laughs> I don't remember they're going to shoot you for five or whatever. You remember. So brutal. So they have a Lauren. Oh, they just have Lauren in hand? That's good for us. I'm tempted to Colagon's command, kill this, get back Oliphant, and cycle it. Uh, that seems better than not doing anything. Return to damage. Get back Oliphant, shoot you. I mean, I don't need the red, but I'd rather thin the deck and do a little shuffle. Do a little truffle shuffle. Oh, I thought you were just going to cast him. I didn't have the six mana. I'm in the future. I mean... What's that going to do, you know, man? Attack and block. Yeah, go down to 16. Unless they want to goad my creature. I've never seen anyone do that before. Go! My god, they did it! They're just goading. I have no idea why they wouldn't just down you there, but. Interesting. Uh, this is interesting. No blocks. Skoden. <laughs> Did they think goad means my guy has to block? It means my guy has to attack. Right? Like, I'm not crazy, What's right? What's the trick? 
I don't think there is one. I think I'm just going to get the initiative and get a second black source, which is actually sick, pretty good. You might say they done messed up. A couple of AA rounds over here, you know what I mean? I do. We're also one man away from just hard casting Archon now. I like it. I mean, they do get to come through again, but I, I don't, I don't know if this is correct. I'm better off just flashing the bowman. I think so. I mean, even if it did mean I have to block, like their guy gets pro creatures, so I can't block. It's literally illegal. Is that what it means? Goad a creature. I don't, there's no. Goad just means it forces them to attack. Your That's player. what I thought too. Yeah. Like you're taunting them. Well, right? like, it, come it on. goads, it forces you to attack. The player that, a, a different player, right? Right. But in 1v1, you, you still have to attack them. So it just forces an attack. Oh, they cycled this and I didn't even cast my Bowmasters. I'm, I was too busy thinking about goaded. What is a goad? <laughs> Do you know the goaded man? Where does he live? You know where he lives. Dracula's castle? Yes, go the goaded man lives in Dracula's castle. This is the lore. <laughs> We're really mixing up references here. <laughs> They're like, which mana would you like to use? And I'm like, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. And Bowmaster really outclasses every other orc they've ever printed, right? <laughs> it's not even close. It's very good. I feel like we're winning, but I don't know how it happened. <laughs> Me neither. Mm, that's fine. It's also a lot better when we're... They're not taking advantage of its trigger. Or its static ability, I guess. Uh, let's forge. On to this guy. Forge him up. See what, we, see what we hit here. Two lands. Okay, well, next turn we just get the hard cast on Archon of Cruelty. I'm a fan of the strategy. Me too. They're also at seven, which means if we hard cast this and get in with the, uh, the initiative, they just lose. So... Play a little game of catch, you know? What does that mean? Just the flavor text on Love Axe. Just says catch. Hmm. Fascinating. They make, of, what, they make a skeleton? A little bit of deep cut. They're going to the Throne of the Dead 3. Oh, real the top 10, put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield with three 1-1 one -one counters. Oh, God, that's pretty good. That gains hexproof. I don't think it's going to matter, though. You don't know. If they get Titan of Industry, it's pretty good. Well, hopefully they won't. I mean, it's like a... So you're saying there's a chance. Foreign clicks. That's pretty good. Oh my god, their own containment priest screwed them. Oh, because they can't... Wow! Brutal. Oh, you... Yeah, it's, it's not just your opponent. Oh, man. Yeah, reveal the top 10. Put a creature card from my on a battlefield. Nope. I was like, wait, what happened? We were just going to cast this guy and then draw a Mox Emerald off of it. All right, well, we're 2-0 with this deck that has no good fixing lands. 
Shut up and take my money. I mean, two colors is not too bad. Senator Goad. The Goad Man is a registered trademark of the Goad for Congress Super PAC. Please cease all use of the Goad Man or other Goad related puns. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is so deep. <laughs> You'll take my Goad puns from me from my cold dead hands. Oh my god. We're making we're making super pack donation memes. Good lord. Anyone can have a super pack, right? Just say you got one. Say it. You won't. I would play first. Typical. Okay, I'll keep this. We're just going to draw Mox into Talisman, and then we're going to get like a little Chondrano, you know? You know? Oh, I got to play my land first. See that? I tried to cast that spell without even playing a land. In real life, you can kind of do that. You just kind of like... Yeah, people know. And how do we whiff? How do we whiff? In Vintage Cube, my opponent has no non-creature spells. I whiff often. Look at our opponent's name, Michael. Tubbo? <laughs> That's funny. Is that a reference? I think it might be. To what? I don't know. That name's familiar. It's just a funny name. Like a, it's like a fat nickname. You tubbo. What's why does it have to be from something? It's just funny. I'm trying to remember where I remember it from. It's a YouTuber name. That's why. That's where I remember it from. Oh, maybe that's him. Could be. I don't really know who it is. I just heard the name. Oh, look at this Bowman Courier. Okay, so they played Swift Spear and Mountain. It looks Either like they Minecraft. drew Taiga. Okay. They didn't want to get in there. They're like, no, no. I would have gotten in there. If I, tra I have to trade a Bowmaster? Shoot. Oh, yeah. I heard his name on a, a Jay Schlatt video. That's where, that's where I got it. Yeah, him. good old Jay Schlatt. He's a funny guy. It's short for Tubbo Lard. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. They're going to dire cry. Oh, that's great. That makes me sad. Now they just get to take my Chandra. Give me back my Chandra. I played Mesa for Taiga, sure. Yep, that's sad. Ideally, we'll draw a nice, sweet four drop. Well, this deck, we're definitely bringing the Chupacabra. I'm sensing a theme. This time we'll bring Oh, it. that's pretty good. Well, our next turn's gonna be good regardless. I took a shat, schlat, and missed you guys getting scared. <laughs> yeah, and Affinity wasn't even here to clip it. Oh no, people saw all of that. Uncle Cardboard, I'm so sorry. I also didn't see the uh, the Containment Priest issue. I mean, it's easy to miss. You never think about it in your own context. Yeah, you never think your own Containment Priest is going to get you, you know? But then it does. It's brutal. It's always betraying you. Brutal. Speaking of, this is going to be brutal. Well, they're going to make a construct, and I'd kind of rather keep Fury until I can get that full construct value, you know? I'm not going to argue with you playing a Hasted Dragon to make treasures. Treasures? Treasures? You ever had a treasures? Never. Okay. You? I don't think so. One day. If I had a treasure, I probably wouldn't be poor, you know? <laughs> You'd still be poor. I guess if I, if I didn't sell it, I would still be poor. I wonder what they're going to get with their, with their Urza Saga, you know? I think it's just because I didn't pull my bootstraps, you know? That's really my problem. You never do. <laughs> if only I had bootstraps, dang it. You don't even wear any, you don't even wear lace. I haven't even seen you wear a lace in a thousand years. Laces are for suckers. Where that mo oh my god, look at that soul ring. Gorgeous. My kingdom for uh, Kolagon's command. Oh my god, look at them. They're going nuts. Crazy even. So they, they're getting... They got rid of nothing so far. They might have actually played this mountain, I believe. So now they have Conscript and Bakey Boy. And now they're going to steal my guy. Oh boy, this is a... This is oh a whole to-do, oh. my, my man. Don't like that. Yeah, I was really hoping they wouldn't have that much mana to do that since they were tapping for the saga, but here we are. So then there was all these 
things. There's a lot of things happening right this second. Feel like we're dead? Well, we're fine. Feels like we're dying. I don't know if we're fine. I think we're fine. I think you're being a little baby bitch about it. Did you know that? You little, I mean, that wasn't the, the best draw. They got too many guys. That's really the problem. Sorry, I wish for double red. Make a Talisman. You like that? Talisman? Maybe. I mean, I didn't think they were going to put, like, four artifacts into play last turn. That really was where I feel like the wheels kind of came off a little bit. It does feel like that's correct. Oh, we know they have a Sunbaked Canyon, and when they draw with it, we're going to do a little pew-pew, you know? So they might not do that. They're basically dead. Oh, bold claim. You don't, you don't agree? Well, currently their guy's bigger than our guy's. It seems like a problem. They have more life than us. Doesn't seem I'm correct. no war strategist. You're not a war strategist? No. Hmm. Nor Magic the Gathering strategist. Well, I'm simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Are <laughs> you with these grimaces? Yeah. Same. Oh, they're just getting in there. And I was taking out his ribs, you know? Who isn't, you know? I wouldn't do that. But would, wouldn't you would, wouldn't you? No. Wouldn't you, though? No. Maybe you would. No. Grimus is my friend. He's my friend. Grimus is just dripped out, you know? Fashion icon. Grimus is a fashion icon. See, now they're going to play their canyon and crack it, because now they don't get that extra damage. That is smart of them to do that later. Yeah, that's a typical Tubbo play. <laughs> Well, that guy's good. That guy's putting the clock on me. I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not what we're looking for. No. Well, next turn, if we hit that Archon, we live in life, you know? And I'm hoping they don't have another artifact. Uh... Yep, that's pretty Maybe good. Kills us. Okay, cool. See you later. It's okay. We're just drawing Mox Jet anyway. Ravenous Chubacabra, come on in. Duress, you can go. They have nothing. They have nothing. They don't believe in non-creature spells. Same. That's a lie. I'm looking at them right now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'll keep this. Simply have him. Wonderful Michael B. His name Mike B. Lives in the tree. I mean, we have Zealous on the board because we just have too many cards. Nicholas. Come on, Nicholas. We just have too many five drops. Oh, that's pretty good. Super Fridge is right. I'd rather have a Big Mac any day of the week compared to a Mick Oh my god, they're double moxing? Jesus, they're getting rid of so many cards. They'll be dead. That makes it a little better. I'm fascinated by this choice. Oh boy. Well, see you later. Y'all sleeping on the ribbiness. <laughs> I do not think I'm sleeping on the ribbiness per se. Every time I get it, I'm like, maybe it's good. But then it just tastes like lunch school cafeteria sandwich. And it's not very good. I don't know. Also, I don't like the texture. It's all wrong. I don't like the texture. Oh, they just killed that guy with an arc trail? Jesus. That's all you did? The key is extra pickles. That's always the key. You can also get extra pickles on a Big Mac for free, though, so. 
And extra onions. And extra sauce. That's too much. Um, all right, I'm putting this guy on top and then this guy on top of that so that they can get rid of it. And take eight. Yep, take eight. Great. <laughs> Go to 12. Juicy. Smoking. 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 Just get rid of the the McRib part. Just eat the pickles. The well, barbecue a little, sauce. A little Glorino, huh? Glorini. Get rid of the pickles. Just eat the sauce. My me, man, I hate the sauce. My no me. Had a good jam, buddy. Make sure you pick the right mode. I won't. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I agree. That is quite unfortunate. You remember that time we picked up an arcade cabinet and it almost killed me? And yeah, that was it good. It cost that us was, five hours. That was sweet. Uh, oh, Fury and Lelia. They're both good. Fury is obviously better. Sacrifice a non-token creature. I'm very careful about reading this now. Okay, so your hand is land, 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 Lelia. Oh. That's a good song. Hmm. Take nine, I dare you. Um, putting Mox Jet on top. And then Titan on top of that. And if they don't want to give me the Titan, they take nine, so they go to three. <laughs> oh, they just gave it to me. So now we draw the Mox. We can use Mox to cycle Oliphant to get a mountain, and then play Sneak into Titan. It's all happening. Which theoretically should kill them. Okay, Mesa. Mesa, go bye bye. A mattress made of a queen sized McRib would be comfortable. <laughs> I don't know. Feels like it'd be a bit sticky. Sometimes, like, Kerwood's brain is so amazing to me. <laughs> it's like, what a, what a ma magical piece of technology that thing is, you know? I think with the sauce, we got a real problem. I don't think I could get to sleep on that. You don't know. You know, I haven't tried it, but I'm, I'm just guessing here. I just feel like you're kind of being a baby about it, you know? Well, I am a baby. So... So here's the thing. Do we Fury and just kill both our dudes when we know they have two mountains in hand? Because this doesn't win us the game. It puts them to two. It puts them to one, I guess. Remember at 12? Yeah, I'm just going to cast this, because this is just a better surprise, you know? Well, you know what I always say. I believe in murder, so. I, too, believe in murder. Also, if you don't do it now, you'll probably never be able to kill Layla. Do you mean Lelia? Yes. Because now this is lethal next turn, because you got an extra hit with the bat. <laughs> I hear that Morrissey's evil twin is actually pretty cool. Oh. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm going to put both of these on top, because I want that from... From what? The catacombs. Nice. You from, you from guess what? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Don't think Bo Corey is going to get there for him. You don't know. I will, however, block. Now let's see if they got there. Hmm, they didn't. Okay. You don't know. They just drew their cards. <laughs> You don't mean the card they drew? You just meant the Bomac? They, we didn't even get to show them our co our guys. Man. Hold on. I want to win cooler. Don't quit yet. Everyone loves winning cooler. Why do you say it like it's like a, something wrong? Like I'm like I'm committing some cardinal sin by wanting to win cooler. Everybody wants to win cooler. Yeah, but your opponent usually doesn't want to sit around for it. What? Your opponent usually doesn't want to sit around for it. I have two moxes, okay? If I don't draw mox and get to ramp into something, I swear to Jesus... Tubbo took the L. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that game. You know, there's more games to go. For me and Tubbo. At least this one. At least one more, you know? Mox, 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 Mox. Ha, 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 ha. Like, I just, I feel like I just have not been drawing these moxes. moxes. I, I've never seen them. I think it's a I see them on, like, turn nine. See, they, they get theirs every game. I don't understand. 
This is going to be the... This, they're going to play Lelia here, and it's going to be absolutely... Wow, the hell is conscripts? Oh, we'll be dead. Yep, it's going to be backbreaking. Oh, Wheel of... What is this? This is so... These these Wheel of... This hand is terrible. Oh, but we have actually from the Catacombs. I guess that doesn't do anything when we only have one mana. But in the future. Nah. Shut up. Also, we can hit him. That's kind of cool. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him and shimmer. They always play that Grim Lava Mancer off of their, their one extra mana. How typical. Oh, look. We did hit a land. Hey, you did it. Good job. Just kidding. It's not land, per se. It's what you always wanted. Oh, hit. Minskin Boo and Hellrider? Wow, those are good hits. Oh, uh, Hellrider would have fucking murdered us. For show. Also the Minskin Boo. I know. They're both good, man. Don't 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 be sleeping on them. I, w I actually should have played a Mountain this turn. That was silly. I should have played Mox Jet Mountain. I didn't I didn't want to reveal the Mox Jet to like an artifact destruction. But if we draw like a Chandra... <sighs> I'm going to feel real silly. Okay. I, do I mean, it's only bad if you... It's... Never mind. I'm, 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 I'm... Are you having a brain? Are you having an <laughs> aneurysm? <laughs> what? I'm a... I'm a... Bu, 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 bu. I don't know, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was a little worried. What are you doing? Are you just going to grim me? Get busy grimming, you know what I'm saying? There's not really any water in it, that's sad. Sacrifice a non-token creature, that's right. I guess we'll find out. Which one is worth more? I think the Grim is worth more, yeah, for sure. Don't have any non-creature spells, so probably. Oh god, what is this? Oh, crying out loud. Jiminy Christmas. Oh, we can actually reanimate a ravenous chupacabra, so that's not terrible. Yeah, and we an get archon the initiative. In I wish I had an Archon in there. Would you give your kingdom for it, perhaps? Not the whole thing. Okay, well. From targeting chupa rupees. All right. Let's pop this guy out and do a big look. A big looky-loo. Uh, let's get rid of Mountain, Swamp, Him, Edict, Bloody Boy. Done. Save the creatures. Mm, pop you back. Go away. Go away. Okay, let's get the old, the old Landorino. We're pretty much even. I guess I'll get another red. How's the Landorino doing these days, huh? We going to six here? Or are you killing my troops? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chirps murder was the charge they gave me. They have two cards in hand. In there to get that to get that niche. Smart. Hmm. This game's close. I once unironically tried to order a rib witch at a McDonald's once. I forgot that that's not what they're called. <laughs> Let me get the chicken nuggets. They're called McNuggets here, sir. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow. Dire Fleet getting rid of my from in order to cast any number of monstrosities. Because you have exactly five mana. Hmm. What can we even hope to draw here? Ah, oh, sweet. Horrors beyond my comprehension. <laughs> See, that's funny. Yep. It's a good one. Oh, they got Graveyard. Interesting. No glory burner, huh? Nah, I don't think it really matters. We're gonna have a bad time. I can't think. Of... Never mind. What are you saying? Who knows? 
No one. No one knows. I was going to ask about the flip. I don't know if they keep it when they flip or not. Of course they flip. Sword is dead. Is that what you're saying? I kill this guy. You shoot this guy. You attack me for three. You go firebolt. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's literally exactly game. Okay. Also, I get to throw a five at you. That's the end. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to send your regards in the chat. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.